Just so you know, Bronson Ron has never cleaned a set of bearings in his life. Are you ready? I'm here to show you how to clean your bearing using the Bronson Ceramics Bearing Cleaning Unit. That's right, every set of Bronson Ceramic Bearings comes with this handy cleaning unit to keep your bearing spitting faster than a cheetah with a pita. We also sell the special cleaning unit by itself with no bearings. And yes, it comes with instructions, spacers, and washers. But I'm not here to waste your time, so let's get started. And remember to always wear your gloves and safety eyewear when using the Bronson Bearing Cleaning Unit. To clean your bearings, you will need your bearings, of course, with spacers and washers, the Bronson cleaning unit, rubbing alcohol, Bronson high-speed oil, a pin or thumbtack, be careful, and a towel or rag. Got it all? Well then let's go. First you need to remove the shields of the bearing, take off your wheels, take out the bearings. Use a pin under the outside edge, yes that's the outside edge only, to lift and remove the shields. Do this on both sides of all eight bearings. Now your bearings are shieldless and balls exposed to the world. Place the bearing washer spacers in the unit in this order. Bearing, spacer, bearing, spacer, bearing. Half the washers, which is four. Bearing, and yes, I did put four washers on first try. Now make your second kebab, again, bearing, spacer, bearing, spacer, bearing, your four washers, one, two, three, and four, and your final bearing. All your bearings, spacers, washers assembled in this shish kebab of speed. Fill the cleaning unit half full, that's half full with 99% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Here we go. Ooh. Half full, that's 40 milliliters, 40 milliliters, filling your Bronson unit half full. Place the lid on top, firmly on top, firmly on top. You don't want that spilling out when you shake it. Now shake it for 90 seconds. Somebody got a clock. Really shake it. Jack it. Just keep moving. Just keep shaking. Just hold the lid on tight. Keep shaking. Hold that lid on. Keep shaking. We're good. Now remove the lid and place it so it covers about two-thirds or half of the top. Hold it firmly with your thumb and pour out the dirty alcohol. I thought that would be much more filthy. Again, repeat the process, filling it half full of rubbing alcohol. Do this again two to four times or until the liquid runs clear. Really trying to get it to flow through the bearings, holding it tight, hold it tight. You don't want that isopropyl running everywhere. 90 seconds, huh? 1,001. Now remove your clean bearings and place them on a towel to dry. All laid out there. Mm -mm -mm. Use a towel to wipe down the bearings and shields to remove any extra dirt. Looking nice and clean and fast, baby. You know what? You can throw your washers in there too. Just give them a cleaning. Nothing wrong with clean washers, am I right? Isopropyl. Now you can place each bearing on the axle and give them a nice spin to remove any excess alcohol. Listen to that spin. Mm. Give them a nice spin. Can you hear me? Now that they're dry, you can place one to two drops of Bronson Next Generation Speed Oil in each bearing. And give them a nice spin to spread that evenly. Snap your shields back on, put your bearings back in your wheels, put your wheels back on your trucks, and you are ready to roll. And if you don't ride Bronson's, my friend, well then, fine. Why are you going to watch people commenting on video games and stuff when you can go watch the Bronson YouTube? Rainier is a lot sicker than watching YouTube, but if you're going to watch YouTube, Bronson. I can promise you if you watch any of NHS's YouTubes, you will not see a Kardashian or whatever those things are.